And go ahead. Thank you. Walker, just first and foremost, a few days now into spring training, how are you feeling? Uh, good. Obviously trying to get everybody in and, and get in here safely so we can kind of get going. But yeah, things are good. Um, got kind of all the pitchers and catchers obviously here now. So first step is done and, and now the position players are starting to filter in. So things are good. And what can you say just about how strong the starting pitching rotation is? Has anything stood out to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit early. Obviously, we know the names and, and what guys have done previously to, to this year. And, and now it's just about kind of building that staff. And, and we have so much depth and, and so many guys that we know can and, and will contribute. So, um, you know, figuring out where everybody fits and, and how we're going to go about that, I think, is the biggest thing now. Thank you. Next question is from Dave Vassay. Go ahead. Hey, Walker. Dave uh, mentioned the other day that he felt like you may be more ready for spring training because you were throwing more during the off season. Was that a product of the short season last year? What led you to that direction this off season? Yeah, uh, you know, it was pretty well known. I, I kind of took a break before we came back uh, for summer camp last year. So, um, you know, just going through the season and the playoffs and all that stuff was able to, to kind of condense the break that I would normally take. And, um, you know, so far I feel good about where I'm at and uh, yeah, just trying to kind of evolve and, and figure out what works best for me. And, and so far we, we're happy with where I am. I know it's early, but can you tell a difference? Yeah, I just feel um, a little bit closer to, to kind of where I want to be, uh, you know, physically. And then I think there's a, a mental side of that where you're, you're not as stressed out about going through this stuff. You can kind of build up and and just feel good where where you are and, and, and get ready for a season. You, you had mentioned your the rotation and how strong it is. Um, I know we had talked and you had a relationship with Trevor Bauer, but now that it's a reality <laughs> that he's part of your rotation, how do you think that personality um, will change the dynamic of the rotation of the team and all that? Uh, you know, I think we've had we've had personalities here before and, and new guys come in. So uh, not something that we're unaccustomed to and, and you know we certainly expect him to, to fit in just fine and um, go out and perform and, and that's the biggest thing. Thank you. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey Walker, uh, different guys around the league, I think Dave mentioned the other day too that this might be a challenge going from 60 to, to 162 games again uh, for a pitching staff or pitchers individually. Um, do you see that as a challenge? Uh, how does that pose a challenge? Um, I think that's going to be one of those things that it's not going to be a challenge until it becomes one. I don't know. You know, we, we've never dealt with anything like this, and, and it's kind of unprecedented that way. So I think we're all kind of going in with a little bit of caution, but but trying to keep with the status quo and, and prepare to have a normal 162-game season. And, um, you know, I don't think there's any other way you can kind of look at it. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. and. and try and stay as healthy as we can, as long as we can, and, and go in some games. Um, it might be too early, but is the blister thing behind you, you think, or is that sort of more of a wait and see? Uh, uh, I, I think it's I think it's always going to be a, a wait and see kind of thing. I, I haven't had any issues with it um, since last year and, and in the off season, you know, trying to, trying to make sure that nothing rears up, but, you know, nothing had ever reared up in, in my career until it did. So, um, you know, we'll keep an eye on it and, and be conscious of it, but, um, as of right now, I'm not super concerned. Um, yesterday, uh, news surfaced that there's a possibility that you guys would have fans at Dodger Stadium to begin the year and pretty much, you know, around baseball. That's the hope. Um, when you hear that, what's your reaction um, to having fans in the stands again? Yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's a great thing. We obviously want our fans there and, and you know, miss that for sure. But I think, in all honesty, it's, it's a sign of some positive things happening kind of everywhere. So, you know, I think it's indicative of, of – hopefully in a, an improving situation with, with COVID and all that stuff. So, um, you know, obviously we're going to be excited whether it's two fans or, or 20,000 or, or 50,000. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're just looking forward to that. Thank you. Next question from J.B. Hornshaw. Go ahead. Hey, Walker. Uh, I was wondering what you've learned from Trevor um, throughout through your career to this point and, and what more – do you think you'll be able to learn from him just being able to be around him every day and observe him going about his business? Um, 
we haven't really interacted in a, in a way that I would say I've learned a whole lot. Obviously, um, you know, him using kind of this data-driven approach and and the weighted balls and driveline and all that stuff. I've kind of had a auxiliary relationship with driveline since since I was in college. So more learning from those guys than, than from Trevor directly. But, um, you know, it's just, it's never a bad thing to have a guy that's had, you know, the success he's had in his career, especially last year um, in our in our clubhouse and in our staff to kind of talk and pick each other's brains and stuff. So um, that'll be nice. But, you know, to answer your question, I think the biggest thing is just having another guy that's, that's been around for a while and, and you know, knows – what he does in a little bit different way than all of us do. So um, just another another piece of the collaborative effort, I guess. Since he since Trevor mentioned on uh, his first press conference that you texted him on the day that he signed, uh, I'm wondering if you if you lobbied him to sign with the Dodgers at all, or did you put a good word in with Andrew at all? Um, no, I mean, I, I've I'd had conversations with him previously, um, knew that he was had always been interested in, in coming here and obviously didn't want to dissuade him from that in any way. So, you know, texted him a little bit throughout his free agency, kind of said, Hey, like, what's the deal? What's going on? Are you coming here or whatever? Um, you know, had conversations here and here and there with some front office guys and um, just about what I knew about it. Obviously this stuff's kind of above, above my pay grade, but um, you know, we're glad it worked out and glad he's here. And, and now it's about kind of coming together as, as a unit and, Figuring out the best way to win a bunch of games. Thanks. Next question from Claudia Gesto. Go ahead. Hey, Walker. Great to see you again. So, um, as far as your training, uh, this is a very intimidation uh, rotation. Uh, how excited are you to see it work? And also, how comfortable are you feeling with the new catchers, obviously, that, that you guys got? Yeah, um, you know, the rotation, it's something that's always been kind of the strength of, of our organization. And at least since I've been here, we've we've had some pretty special staff. So um, I think it's just a kind of a new iteration of that. And, um, you know, we brought some the, on the catching side, obviously, Will and, and Barnes are still here and um, have some of the younger guys and, and guys coming back. Um, so we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. But we obviously feel pretty pretty comfortable with the two guys that were with us all last year. Next question for Maria Sorelko. Hey, Walker, nice to see you again. I'm, coming off the World Series win, does this feel different this year coming into to camp? Um, I think it, it's kind of natural that it has to feel a little bit different, but you know, I, I talked to somebody about it the other day where you know, last year, the 60 games and all the stuff going on in the world, we, we didn't really have that big kind of parade celebration kind of deal. So in, in some ways you feel like we kind of half won the thing, but um, no, I mean, I know everyone's excited and, and excited to go forward, but obviously pretty proud of, of what we accomplished last year. And um, you know, now, now it's time to kind of turn the page and, and try and do it all over again. Got time for one more, go ahead, dude. Hey, Walker, I was just going to ask you, a lot's been made about what the Padres have done, adding Snell and Darvish and other pieces. Uh, Justin said it's going to be like 19 World Series games during the regular season. How do you look at it? Yeah, I, I mean, I think he's he's pretty spot on. I, you know, obviously, they've been kind of accumulating some talent over there. Um, you know, started with Hosmer and those guys and, and Machado and uh, now they're just continuing that. And that's that's great. I, I think it's great for the game, I think. You know, we want we want good teams. We want really, really good teams, and and I think they're they're certainly in that conversation now. I, I think we are as well, and and I think we like our guys in our clubhouse a lot. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens, but but I don't think there's there's any real downside to it. Thanks, Walker. Thanks, everybody.